In this video, we're covering Damasteel. It's gonna be a few videos. Hello and welcome to my shop. My name is Christopher Gillen, and in this series of videos, we are working with Damasteel. In a previous video, we had taken a bar stock of Damasteel and machined it in, into this blade, and we had step overs that had to be removed. And we did that in a previous video. In this video here, we have some more process to continue with this knife. We're going to surface grind this blade down for our backspacer, and then engrave on the cheek my name, and then we'll go into the heat treat process. This will be interesting to somebody. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the chuck. I'm going to dress my wheel, and then clean the chuck again. If you're wondering how deep the double disc grind line are, it's at half a thousandths. So I've surface ground down my blade. We'll now mic it to see exactly where we're at. This blade is 151. So I've surface ground this blade to its final dimensions uh, for the backspacer. If you want to know how to determine the math with your final blade thickness, I'll put a link in here to an old video. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my name here on the cheek, just above the bevels. And to do that, we're going back inside the minimal. I'm going to use an engraving ball nose that I got from Lakeshore Carbide. I'm really happy with these things. They work fantastic. Although this end mill looks like it has a, a sharp point on it, and it actually has on the on the bottom of it a twenty thousandths ball, twenty thousandths diameter uh, ball on the bottom of this, twenty five percent. I never like to load up more than twenty five percent of my end mill, so twenty five percent of twenty would be five thousand. So I'm gonna cut with this ball into my material. 5,000 And so you can see here I've put a 10 by 24 uh, bolts through the pivot and bolted that down. I also have the stop pins uh, in here to locate this. I'm also going to use a 2,000 filler gauge to make sure that this is in fact down and flat. Now that I know it's down and flat, we're good to go. There you go, my name's engraved. The next thing I'm going to clean it up with some sanding. So here's my Damasteel blades. This Damasteel is DS93X, and I'm getting ready to heat treat this. This is a combination of RWL34 and PMC27. You should know that there's different types of Damasteel, and there's also different recipes for each type of Damasteel. For example, with this Damasteel, you could take it to a low hardness, say 56, and turn it into a pocket clip. But in this case, I'm using it for blade steel, so I'm going to use a recipe for a high hardness to get the Rockwell hardness above 60. One of the things I did do with this knife is I left myself extra, just in case if it does bow, I have some room to mitigate that. Following the plate quench, we're going to use liquid nitrogen. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to lap the cheek of this knife to make sure that it's truly flat. This blade has been surface ground and also engraved and now I'm going to lap it. You can see on the back side I've already lapped it and so what I'm getting ready to do now is to lap the cheek on this side. <clears throat> I'm being very careful to stay off the bevels. So what I'm doing now is I'm lapping my blade. This is removing the small ripples left from the surface grinders uh, screw. And even though you can see them, you can't feel them, but they are there. And what I'm actually doing is I'm removing tenths. This is tenths of a thousandths. Uh, this is not removing thousandths, this is removing tenths. So what I'm looking for is I'm watching this dark gray area here close in. You wanna have a lot of water when you do this. I have a five gallon bucket of clean water. 
to use um, plenty of towels. Periodically dip your stone in the in the water, and it just takes a lot of towels and a lot of patience. And so you can see here the dark grayness has reached the plunge line. So I'm now going to stop. I went ahead and did. I went ahead and did both sides. We've now flattened this. Uh, so I went ahead and cleaned this blade in the ultrasonic cleaner. I cleaned my hands several times. I went ahead and put on one of my gloves just to be safe. I don't get any oils on this after I wipe it down with acetone. And after that, we're going to move into the heat treat. If you want to watch one of my old videos, I'll do my heat treat, plate quench, argon, all that good stuff. I'll put a link in here. It's a good video. You should go watch it. So let's put this in the pouch and put it in the middle of the kiln. Get to heat treating the damn steel. I'm going to quench these at 2010 degrees. This should give me a higher rock wall hardness. After the plate quench, we'll go immediately into the um, liquid nitrogen. And I'm also going to hit the add time to give me five more minutes just so I'm not rushed. Then I'm going to let the temperature come back up to 2010 before I pull the next blade out. Following the plate quench, I went straight into a deep freeze in the doer in liquid nitrogen. It's about minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not necessary to do a deep freeze with damaged steel, but it helps complete the marcitonite transformation and increases the rockwell hardness, also the toughness of the blade. And I just left it in there overnight. So I left these blades in the liquid nitrogen overnight and all I'm doing now is letting them come up to room temperature before I start the first temper. So I've tempered my blade. We're now going to test to see um, what the Rockwell C hardness is. I did two temperings and I let it come to room temperature uh, between the two tempers. Now we're testing the rock we'll see. And it's testing out at 63. That's an incredibly hard steel. And so there you go, we've heat treated damn steel. I went ahead and cleaned up one of the two blades, get some of the carbon off of it. And the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna etch these. And uh, I'll show that in the very next video. Thanks for hanging in there till the end. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.